So here it is in all its glory. Yes, it's, it's big. It is big. It's cold though, don't you think? It looks like a doctor's waiting room. I mean, the kind of the furniture configuration, it's not very inviting. Yeah. So my plan for this is I want to make it the room that they can all hibernate, just sit and relax and watch TV. I just don't think it's doing it now. So we need to get this lot out and make it warm and cosy and full of texture. Sounds great. It sounds a lot better than what's here at the moment. Absolutely. Want a pair of pears? I've got a pair of pears. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> It's all got electrical leads. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is top class here. It's like an aeroplane chair. That's only if you travel first class like me, but... Like you. <laughs> What's that? Look what I found. <laughs> is that the dirty sock? It's one of life's mysteries, the missing yeah. sock. I what? found it. More chairs? How many more chairs do we have to have? How many people live in this house? <laughs> We've got a lot of chairs. This is unbelievable. I really do need to relax here, don't you? I'm just going to have to rest my heart, huh? Oh, my goodness. OK, let's talk turkey. What's happening, Taz? I think that the way that this room was situated was wrong. I yeah. just didn't feel that there was any what we call focal point. So focal point could be a television, yeah. it could be a fireplace, but in here I think we could do both. If we do a chimney breast all the way down and incorporate one of those gorgeous gas fireplaces, because we've got a dark fireplace, we go black caviar, one of my favourite colours. Yeah, so cool. white wall, timber, timber, oh. like a bench seat with cushions, nice light in the corner, so beautiful. Oh, amazing. So then, of course, on this wall, if we want to incorporate that TV, so if we can frame it up with yep. some timber, again, the marine ply, to carry that texture yeah, over that here. Wall, yeah. And then on either side, we can have shelves yep. for storage. Yep. And then underneath, we can have pull-down doors. So it's like a built-in yes, unit, built -in. but it's floating. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to paint these walls. And I love then... having stuff to do to us. You do, I know. That's I it. Know. I can't wait to get the fireplace going a bit more, don't Yeah, it's <laughs> chilly. <laughs> freshen up your walls and you really struggle with paint colours, I reckon you could do a lot worse than going with plain white. Now, of course, there are hundreds of whites to choose from, as you know, but this is one of my favourites. It's called Lexicon Quarter Strength. And I've decided to come out here to start making the frame for the fireplace. I'm using some 70 by 45, and the first thing I need to do is start cutting it to size. All right, let's get this frame together. There we go. So this is one side of the fireplace. I'm going to make another frame exactly like this, and then one that will join the two sides together. Before I get these frames attached, I just need to remove the skirting and the corner, so I'm using a multi-tool to cut it out. That way, our frames will sit nice and flat against the wall. Oh, very good, Tara. Perfect timing. That's great. An yeah, extra set of hands. Can you hold that one? I am holding it. I'm done. I'm here. You're done. <laughs> this is so good. You know, it's going to add a lot of character to this room already. Just a little bit of structure. It stops mm -hmm. it just being so boxy, don't you think? Definitely. OK, yeah, this fireplace is massive. I Love cannot it. wait to see it fired up. So shall I just keep standing here? Yeah, you just stand there and I'll see you later. Yep. Don't leave me. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm good. So we're going to go in between the frame. Right, you in? Yeah, we're good. So, Taz, what would have I done with you? Teamwork. There you go. How great. I love a chimney like this. It's so yeah, that's good. Cool. Look at that. And it's something for Santa Claus to wow. come down as well. Wow, how grand is that, Taz? <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Yeah, room's better already. Love it. All right, I'm going to start shooting it off. OK. Isn't this fireplace a beauty? Now the frame's complete. We're going to slide it into place, and then we can run the flute up through the ceiling and out the roof. You all right, mate? And as this is a gas fireplace, you'll need to call a licensed fitter to connect it all up. This is a feature. It opens up the room and adds warmth. It's instant and clean, and all you need is a gas connection. The frame you build around it can take any shape, but you have to check frame clearances to ensure it doesn't overheat. 
You don't need council approval, as you would if you wanted a real log fireplace. Yeah, the frame's complete. I'm just going to start wrapping this box with plaster. Once this is all on, I can start stopping it up. And what a feature this is going to be in the lounge room. <laughs> it's massive. How are we going? <gasps> and gorgeous or what? Um, and you are. You are gorgeous. But so is this. That is so cool. It's fantastic, isn't it? And just the, the grand size of it. And I decided to go with the logs. So you could have pebbles. The colour of that is going to pick up the TV cabinet beautifully. Yeah. So good. Well done. And there's some like caviar yeah. that's going to be going on here, isn't it? I think, I mean, I could just go white. It looks beautiful white. But I think having this dark is yeah. just going to draw you in, which is what we wanted to do. But it's really going to pop in this room, isn't so it? So good. And thank you for the lid. <laughs> that's it. So what I was thinking, can you do the painting? Yep, absolutely. And I'll get started on the uh, bench shows. Double deal. Well yeah. done. Oh, black caviar! Never looked better! That's amazing! <laughs> Loving it! I've made a bench seat out of a simple boxed frame and topped it off with some marine ply. Oh, yes! I told you, me and black caviar, we're best mates. How are you, buddy? You're gonna keep me warm. See? I do make your cup of tea occasionally. Ah, I love it. Thank you. That's all right. I couldn't find your cup, though. I thought Hodges would do fine. Oh, dear. No, I can't drink out of this. <laughs> not drink out of Jason's cup. That is dangerous. More importantly, how good is the seat? Amazing, isn't it? Isn't yeah. it cool? I'm loving this so much. And then, on to the beast over there. A big job, the entertainment unit. And another big job you've got for me, Taj. You keep me working. She just keeps me going and going. You love it. You I love the hard work. I wouldn't have it any other way. It keeps me young. Have a seat. <laughs> Tara has asked me to make a massive wall-hung entertainment unit, which will go perfectly with our massive fireplace. Now, the gas has been connected by a licence fitter, and they have run a flue through the ceiling and out of the roof. It's already in action, warming up the room. Now, it's going to be wall-hung, and the purpose of it is so when you walk past, you don't see behind the TV. To make it, I'm using this marine ply, and she's going to be putting a grey wash on it, which will really complement what we've done in the room so far. You can see I've got everything cut up like a flat pack, so the only thing left for me to do is to put it together. I have numbered it all, so hopefully it goes smoothly. What could possibly go wrong? That is looking good. Hey, Taj. Scaling it up. You asked for massive. Yeah. We are making it massive. It's good. I love this pie. It's good. Yeah, it's nice. I think I'm going to stain it, though. It's a bit yellow, so I think I'm going to go for a slightly more grey look. Fantastic. Well, it's good you're here, because you can help me out, Taz. There's a lot of work to do. <laughs> Sound good? Well, I've got a little project in mind. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to whip something up. You know, above the chimney there, it just, it's a bit blank. So if I can just do that for five minutes while you get on, promise I'll come back and give you a hand. Oh, hold Don't you finish to it. it I'll back. hold you to it, Tara. I'll make sure I take me time so there's something for yeah, me to do. Yeah, I'm sure you will. <laughs> Now, I've got the main perimeter frame screwed together. For the rest of it, I'm going to be using these 50mm bullet head nails. That way, when we come to putty them up, you're not going to be left with a big hole. We'll just be nice and small. I'll use a punch to put it in, and then just some pine putty over that. you never even know there's a fix in there. And for the top, I'm just mirroring what I've done down the bottom. And a good tip, you'll see that I've got this MDF here. That's exactly the same size as the TV that we're going to be using. That way, I know, once I've made this whole entertainment unit, the TV will fit. Nice, like a glove. And finally, to finish off our entertainment unit, I'm just adding these two shelves on the side, which will make a nice box for our TV to sit in.
above the fireplace, I want to create a piece of art that is really natural and textural, almost like a sculptural element for the room. So my plan is to use this gorgeous cotton sash cord. Now, because this will be dimensional, I need to put it in a frame that has a little bit of depth. This one is an upcycled picture frame. Now, to give it the depth, what we've done is just made a simple box at the back, just using pine, which we've screwed together and attached to the frame itself. Now, for the colour, I want to have it tie in with the black caviar of the chimney breast, so the real star of the show is the rope. So, first job is to get this frame painted. Now, for the backing board, I've just used a piece of MDF and painted that the same colour, the black caviar, which really makes the lightness of this cord stand out. So this is going to be like a textural kind of freeform version of weaving, I guess you could say. It's not really macrame. It's kind of you can make it up as you go along. So the cord itself is just lashed together just with some leather cord, which you can get from the craft store. So you just lay one within the cord and then just very carefully do a simple brief knot. And then once that knot is in place, you can go on and do the next one as well and just keep working across. So that's seven cords neatly together like so. Now, for the weaving itself, I've just cut some of this cord to varying lengths, smallest to widest, and secure it in place. And for the frame, use one of these little paintbrush combs. You can find these from the hardware and they're what you use to clean that sticky paint out of your brush when they've started to dry. So this is really great for just taking to the ends of the cord. So that adds a lovely fluffy element to the artwork. It's really fun. So that's the basic idea. Now all you need to do is just work with those varying lengths all the way down and just gap them evenly apart and you'll find that your artwork will start to grow before your eyes. All right, the moment of truth. Let's get this frame on and see how we're looking. It's pretty amazing. I love it. So all I have to do now is add the glass, pin the whole thing together and get it hung on the wall. It's pretty fab, don't you think? Look, you just continue to impress me today. It's amazing. Class, I'm on telly. You are. Do I look good? You always look good. Very cute. <laughs> I've always wanted to be on TV. All yeah. right, let's tag team. Yep. Are you done here? I am done, and you're finished with the fireplace? I'm done in there, so I can carry on out here staining. Perfect. Sounds like a plan. Sounds good. This is amazing. It's huge. OK, all right, I'm going to get started. Feeling strong? I am feeling strong. Fantastic. Ooh, what are you doing? You've got to lift. Ooh, I'm not... <laughs> Oh, that would be lovely. <laughs> Are we right? Yeah. What's going on down there? You're too Bend far to away. Knees. That's really heavy. Oh, my word. I'll just level things. That's as light as a feather. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Me back. Thank, Me back. You. Thank you. <laughs> Good work, good. Scotty. The doors are a piece of marine ply with some added hinges. And to mount the TV, I've just made this plywood box, which I'm going to mount here, and I'll be able to hide all my cables. Then I'll put the face piece on, we'll have the bracket, which I can then hook the TV on, and it'll hide everything. All right. So in theory, Taz. In theory, I love your theory idea. We should just go hard against. Oh, that's the noise we want to hear. Is that good? Do no. I let go? That, let that boy let go. <laughs> Look at the size of a TV. Look at the cabinet. That's all the big ticket items, Stars. What's next? I reckon we should add all the little bits, the pretty details, and of course the cushions, because we all know it's the cushions that bring the room that means together. We should do some party chops. <laughs> this is teamwork. Yeah, that's it. Ready? Do you like the curtain track on the ceiling idea? Yeah, definitely, Taz. It'll keep all the warmth in here on those uh, cold winter nights. Oh, you know they say you lose about 10% of the heat in the room through the windows? Yeah, that's right. Did you know that you can get beautiful curtains like this special order from Bunnings? Ah, nice. Finally, a bit of warmth underfoot. Definitely. That is awesome. All right. There are a 
few little secrets when you're styling up shelves. I guess the first one you always need to know is don't overclutter them. Keep everything edited and choose things that you really love or have nice shapes. You can edit out your books so they include the colours that are harmonious with the room and always try and include a little bit of greenery because it just adds so much to a set of shelves. Nicely done. Oh, it does. How nice is this? So good. I'm really proud of this room. It's so beautiful. It it, is. It's so different to what we started with. You remember when we came, it was just congested with furniture. Yep. It had no real, I guess, character and soul and no focal point. And no flow. No flow. Yeah. You know, we wanted to bring warmth to this room. Obviously, the fireplace does this, but also I think the way that it's been set up. It's just, it feels so much more cosy. Yeah, I think what works for me is by sort of diluting the walls, making them white, they become the backdrop. Yep. The sofa never really shone before. The colour was just a bit drab, but now it really sings. Yes. And it just, it talks to this, which is lovely. So the colour in the grey is so nice and textural. And you can still walk through there, so we haven't really blocked that flow. Yeah. And it's just a lovely centre point for the television, don't you think, having that design oh, around it? I'll tell you what, I love it, tough. And just skewing the whole thing this way, with this really <laughs> elegant, classic Beautiful. fireplace. And you could sit here, you could actually sit here, but, you know, all in all, it's a nice design. It's a very grown-up room, don't yeah, you think? Yeah, definitely. This is the sort of room I think that anyone could do. It's very achievable, it's a very normal space. Plywood's not expensive. Expensive, that kind yeah. of curtaining's not expensive. It's just a new rug and a focal point here. So yeah, exactly. all in all, I think we've set the bar very high for this house. First room for yeah. our makeover house. Definitely Tars, and you know what that means? We've earned a spot on the couch. I think we have. Let's sit and think <laughs> about all the other rooms we have to do. That's it. Oh, oh that's that big. actually is a big TV. It's huge, isn't it? Imagine mm -hmm. seeing ourselves that large. Wow.